All right then gang, now so far we've been doing all of our JavaScript inside the client, the browser over here in our React app. Now we've already set up a Firestore database and Firebase authentication, which communicates with our app, but all of our JavaScript is currently running inside the application inside a browser. We've not been using a server to run any code whatsoever, but sometimes we need to run server side code to perform some admin tasks that we don't really want to be handled by the client inside the browser. For example, to edit data that is not accessible from the client. So we've already seen that we can lock down data using the Firestore rule. So not everyone can edit the data in our database. And sometimes we might make a collection where we don't want anyone to edit whatsoever, even if they are authenticated, but we still need a way to edit it as an admin. So if it's fully locked down and we can't do it from the client, we could still do it from a cloud function which runs on the server. And cloud functions are just that. They are functions which we can create that run on the server by Firebase. Now we create a function locally first of all in our text editor, then we can deploy it to Firebase. But before we create that function, let's set up our application so that we can start to deploy some functions to Firebase. All right then, so we wanna set up our application to use cloud functions. So first of all, go to your Google Firebase project over here and click on functions on the left. Now we need to get started, so click that button and it's gonna show us the different steps that we have to go through to deploy cloud functions. So first of all, we're gonna to have to install Google Firebase tools. So you want to write npm install hyphen G to install these globally Firebase hyphen tools just in your terminal over here. And that's gonna install the Firebase tools on your computer. Now I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. So let's continue. Then you want to say Firebase init and then Firebase deploy. Now, before you do this, you may have to log into Firebase from your computer for it to gain access to your code and deploy that. So to do that, all you need to say is Firebase and then login like so. And then if you're not currently logged in, this is gonna open up a browser for you to log in and then give access to Firebase to your code to deploy. So do that first of all, I'm already logged in. Now over here, the next step is to say Firebase init and that initializes a Firebase project on the front end for us. So it's gonna give us stuff to then deploy. And then when we're ready to deploy, we say Firebase deploy. So let's just finish this up for now. And over here, we're gonna say Firebase init, and that's gonna initialize the Firebase project for us. So you just need to go through these different questions. It's gonna ask you, do you want to proceed? Yep, and make sure you're in the correct directory, by the way, inside Mario Plan. And then the next question is, what different services do we want to use? Well, we're gonna select functions and also hosting because we're gonna host this whole application on Firebase later as well. Now, we don't need to select Firestore because we've already created the rules for that online inside our Firebase project. We would select this if we want to create the rules locally and then deploy them as well. So we don't need to select Firestore here for now. So press space to select different things and then press enter to enter to the next step. So now it's asking us which project over here do we want to deploy these things to? Now, my project is Net Ninja Mario Plan, so I'm gonna go down here and select Net Ninja Mario Plan, like so. And now it's gonna set up the functions. It's asking us what language we wanna use. I wanna use JavaScript, and do you want to use ESLint? I'm not gonna do that for now. And then do you want to install dependencies with NPM now? Press yes, and it's automatically gonna do that for us. All right then, so that's all installed. Now, this question at the bottom is saying, what do you want to use as your public directory? Now, this directory is the directory that we're gonna eventually publish to Firebase. And that's not the directory for our functions, that's the directory for the application itself. So when we've completed the application, we've built it, which folder are we gonna then publish to Firebase? Now, we're gonna call this folder dist because when we build our React application, it's gonna output all the resulting code in a folder called dist, and that is what we're gonna to deploy to Firebase eventually. So call this dist and press enter. Now, do we want to configure this as a single page app? And that's gonna take care of some server-side configuration for us. Yes, we do. So press yes, and then that's it. 
That is Firebase initialized on the front end and we're ready now to use Firebase functions and later on also deploy this to Firebase. We'll cover that later. But now you should see on the left this functions over here. This contains the code that we'll be using to write and deploy cloud functions. So we'll take a look at that in the next video and it's also created this dist folder with an index.html file in. Later when we run a react build then it's going to replace this with our own index file and some javascript and that is what we'll deploy to firebase when we come to deploy the application. But in the next video what we'll do is create our very first cloud function.